Do you have a drafty awning window? They're the ones that wind out at the bottom. If so, then draft dodges for awning windows might be exactly what you need to draft proof that window. Hi, I'm Morris Bainett, I'm Technical Director at EcoMaster and today I'm going to show you how to install draft dodges for awning windows. When you get your packet, you're going to find a fitting packer that makes it easy to put them in exactly the right place and in the packet three lengths of draft dodges. One is for each side of the window and the third one is for sections either side of the winder and the section at the top. So let's have a look now at how that's done. There are three parts to installing the draft dodges for awning windows. The first one is preparation, the second one is cutting and fitting the draft dodges and the third is pressing them all out so that you're sure that they've made a fantastic bond with the joinery. Now preparation is very important. Basically everywhere that we're going to fit draft dodges has got to be prepared and made extra clean. One of the things that we're going to need to do is remove the existing mouldings on either side of the window jamb. The side sections of the draft dodges are going to replace that. So to get these off we're going to use a knife to cut the paint or varnish bead down the side and then carefully remove them with a hammer and chisel and just lever them off carefully. Now that's going to need to be cleaned up underneath that so that it's good for the draft dodges to fit to. In order to prepare the window it's good to take everything off it. So in this case we've got the skirt of the fly screen frame still here. So let's take that away. Now we're going to be fitting draft dodges along the bottom here either side of the winder and then up the sides. So in order to take these mouldings off we're going to need some tools. Firstly, we're going to need a knife in order to cut the paint or the varnish bead so that the mouldings come off easily. Secondly, we're going to need a hammer and chisel so that we can just tap gently um, behind the moulding and lever it off a little bit at a time. The moulding's just pinned on with a few brads so it's not going to be really difficult to get off. And so once it's off, then we um, set about cleaning behind it. So we need to cut any varnish or paint bead before we try and remove the mouldings. Well, we've got the mouldings off either side of the window and we've got all that nicely cleaned up. We've also cleaned on the jam either side of the winder. And the last thing is the cleaning the top of the actual sash. So the top piece fits to the face of the sash rather than the jam. And the reason for that is that it's just a much better action that way when the window closes for the seal to come up and meet the jam at the top. So now the next part is we're going to cut the draft dodges to fit. So we're going to cut a section for either side of the winder and they're just square cut. And then we're going to cut the, um, the, the seal with the red dot on the end for the left side. And the red dot's going to meet the seal at the bottom and the green dot for the right side. Finally, after all those are fitted, then we're going to cut and fit the one on the top of the sash. Remember, measure twice, cut once. Well, I've got all the pieces cut for this awning window now. I've got two square cut pieces, one that goes either side of the winder, 
I've got the uh, red cut piece for the left hand side and the green cut piece for the right hand side and then I've got a square cut piece which is actually going to go on the top face of the sash itself. Now in the packet was the fitting packer and this is used to facilitate fitting the draft dodgers at exactly the right place on the jam. By fitting that and using the angle cut to fit just under the seal. On this particular window it's been double glazed and there's a moulding that fits proud of the sash itself. So we can't actually use the whole fitting packer in this instance. So I've cut an especially tiny fitting packer that will fit beside the uh, moulding which is still going to allow me to fit the draft dodgers in precisely the right place. I'll just pull out a little bit of the liner and I'm going to use my tiny little fitting packer which is going to fit just under there Well we fitted the sections either side of the winder so the next part is to fit the sides and they're going to meet the bottom sections perfectly and they're going to go square up against the top. So firstly, to fit the side, we're going to take off about 100 to 150 millimetres of tape liner. Now we're going to point it to ourselves, push that up to the top, and then we're going to line up the bottom join perfectly. And then we're going to put the fitting packer in there and push the moulding onto it and pull the liner out up to it. Press it on, just keep doing that. Okay. Well we fitted the bottom and the sides and the next part, it's the last one, is to fit the top to the front face of the sash. Okay, we start as always by taking off about a hundred and a bit more than a hundred millimetres of tape. Put the top in place. And this time we've got enough room to use the real fitting packer, like that. Push the moulding on. I'm going to move the fitting packer up there. I'm going to move it a bit, bit more. And pull the liner out. Well we fitted all the mouldings all the way around and so the last part is actually to push them on really well so that the glue on the back of the draft dodgers bonds really well with the uh, jam. 
So to do that, it's easier if we open the window and we'll get a bit more uh, space in which to push the mouldings on really hard. Well, there you have it, a perfectly draft-proofed awning window. If you've got a drafty awning window, then perhaps you want to grab yourself a set of draft dodgers for awning windows. Just go to ecomasterstore.com.au and grab one there. Remember, EcoMaster products are perfect for making your home more energy efficient, which makes it more comfortable to live in, cheaper to run, and of course, better for the environment. If you've enjoyed this video, please, Subscribe to our YouTube channel and we'll talk again soon.